Australia is the balls of the earth. I was going to say the asshole, but sure. No, that whole no. that whole area. No, the big the big swollen healthy balls. Okay, sure. Big swollen healthy balls. <laughs> the big the big hard dick of the world. Okay, calm down, <laughs> That's <Ben>. us. <laughs> Speaking slowly so you can understand just a couple of teachers just doing a thing. All right, all right. Hello, Teacher Talk listeners from around the world. I am back. I am alone. It's me, Abe. Ben is still in Australia. But, 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 we have organized a time where I'm going to call him and get an update about how it's going in Australia. So in just a moment, we're going to call Ben. It's all recorded. It's all live. And find out how he is doing. He promised me, he promised that he will answer the call, number one, and that he will be relatively sober. Hmm relatively sober. You know, that means reasonably sober. That means not super drunk. I guess we'll find out what that means as soon as he answers the phone. Listen to his voice and you decide how drunk he is. I'm sure he's going to be a little bit drunk. And I learned a trick many years ago when I worked in a nightclub. Yes, I was a, a bartender for about four years or three, four years, yeah. And before that, I was working, you know, cleaning the tables and all that kind of other work. Now, when your customers are drunk... It's easy to mm, get annoyed. Unless, and here's the trick. It's an old English expression. If you can't beat them, join them. So I found if I got a little bit drunk while I'm bartending, then the customers being all drunk and loud, didn't bother me nearly as much. Ah, all right. Ah, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's see what's up with Ben. Here comes the call. Something's wrong with my computer. Oh? Can't I call on my computer? Plan B! Plan B! I always have a plan B. Ah! I'm going to plug my phone into my uh, PodTrack Zoom P8 soundboard. And I'm going to try to use this instead of my computer. I've done it before, so it should work. Hold on just a moment. All right, can you guys hear it ringing? I hear it ringing. Looks like it's recording. Success! All right, Ben, you better pick up the phone. You promised. What's that, seven rings? Eight rings? 
Ben, you promised. Come on, man. That's like 10 rings. Oh, oh I feel... I feel heartbroken. Come on, Ben. Come on, three more rings. One. Yes. Hello. Hello? Ben, some beeping sound. What's that? Abe, I mean it, it's bad news, man. <laughs> what's what's bad news? I'm in the hospital, Abe. <laughs> Shut up. I'm in the hospital, Abe. Are you really? Yeah, the ambulance. They just brought me in. <laughs> what? No. Let me tell you, Australia has not been kind. Australia hasn't been kind. You mean it's been, it's been tough. It's been hard. It's been tough, Abe. I've been stung by a jellyfish. I've been, <laughs> I've been bitten by a crocodile. I've been, I've been jumped on by a kangaroo. Well, this morning you sent a beautiful picture of the beach. Well, it's gone downhill since then. Let me it's tell gone you. Downhill? What happened? The thing The animals the dangerous animals, Abe, and the doctors say I might not live. Bullshit. It's you're true. not <gasps> You're not in the hospital. What's that beeping sound? Well that was the hospital machines, but I'm out now. I feel a lot better. Wow, that was fast. You know me. I'm a strong man. What? How did you get that beeping sound? Well, that's my uh, hospital background noise. Oh, just from your phone or something? No, from my laptop. You know I'm a sound man. Ah, you tricky dog. You, you know I'm a tricky sound dog. Oh, Ben, it's so nice to hear your voice. Ah, uh, yes, I've missed you, Abe. I've been uh, in the Southern Hemisphere for a few weeks now. Yeah, you've been in Australia almost a month, right? Almost a month. Actually, by the time I come home, it will be just over a month. And Australia's on, like, the bottom part of the world. Down under. Down and low as you can get. Australia is the balls of the earth. I was going to say the asshole, but sure. No, that whole. No. That whole area. No, no the, big, the big, swollen, healthy balls. Okay, sure. Big, mm. swollen, healthy balls. <laughs> the, big, the big, hard dick of the world. Okay, calm down, <laughs> That's <Ben>. us. <laughs> you, you were at the beach, right? I was. I've been at the beach almost every day. I'm almost. in Australia after all. Wow, and it's summertime. It is summertime, so I'm staying in a suburb of Melbourne called St. Kilda. St. Kilda. Yeah, which is the beachside suburb of Melbourne where I was born, actually. Oh, how nice. I'm all the way back home. I'm, I'm seeing friends, family, dangerous animals. I'm horribly sunburned. You didn't wear sunblock? It doesn't matter. You know me, I'm a, I'm a snow white princess, Abe. So it doesn't matter. You're a snow white princess. <laughs> is it that bad? Because I know in Australia, the sun is stronger than other places. It's true. It's very intense. It's very intense. Even though you burn so easily, you've still yeah. been going to the beach every day? I can't help it. It's in my blood. I'm a beach boy. You know me. I'm a bit of an ocean man. I'm a merman. Uh, I, I'm at home with seaweed, fish, uh, starfish, sand. You know, that's my but, thing. So when I come back to Japan, you are going to be shocked because I am beautiful golden brown like a freshly cooked chicken. You just said you were terribly burned. Which is it? I... Well, I am, but, you know, my arms are a nice golden brown, uh, but all the other parts of my body are red. Uh, because your arms are used to getting a suntan. Exactly. Uh, you've been getting naked and lying in the Australian sun. Completely naked. Uh, I take off all my clothes and I spread out on the beach and... Um, 
It's not long before the police come. Yeah, swimming every day, uh, you know, meeting family. It's been like four years since I was home. Wow, four years. Four years. You told me you'd be relatively sober. Uh, yeah, I am relatively sober. Um, oh, I've been, okay. you know, I'm not going to lie. Good, don't lie. Fa- no, I wouldn't to you. Well, don't. N- never lie to a good friend. Because if you do, you're in big trouble, okay? What are you going to do? Hey, <laughs> lie and you'll find out. Okay, you're gonna hit. You're gonna hit me. I am gonna get you. You're gonna get me. Gonna I can't wait. You. I can't wait to be got. <laughs> <laughs> don't lie. Why don't you just tell the truth all the time? To tell the truth. Don't uh, tell me you're going to <laughs> tell the truth. Just tell the truth. I've been <laughs> drinking uh, most days. All of my family are strong drinkers, and so are my friends. And it's been a roller coaster of catching up with, you know, people I love. Well, that sounds awesome. It has been awesome. And uh, it goes quickly. I'll be back in Japan in 10 days. You're... <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> You're... <laughs> You're not coming back for another 10 days? On the, on the 18th of January, uh, 2023, it's going to be just over one month when I return. Are you doing any work? Uh, like, are you doing any online work? I am. I'm doing a little bit of online work. This has been an extremely expensive holiday. Ooh, because of the airplane tickets? Everything. Everything. Airplane tickets, some accommodation um, Australia is so expensive. It's it's horrible. It's horrible, Abe. Yeah. Like one bottle of Coca Cola is about five dollars fifty, which is it's about it, oh yeah, my, it's about five hundred yen for a small bottle of Coca Cola. In a vending machine? No, just anywhere. In a convenience store? Anywhere. Are you serious? Yeah, a six pack of beer is like thirty dollars. Oh my god. Anyway, all that aside, it's been a wonderful holiday and dangerous spiders. I've been battling a few spiders. I've had some some high risk experiences, but you know I'm strong. I don't know. I just, I don't believe anything you say about animals. I know because you've never. So when you say a high risk experience <laughs> with a, a dangerous high spider, risk experience, I imagine like you saw a spider, Abe, and in your mind that's a high risk experience with a dangerous. Pretty spider. much, I thought I saw a spider uh, in the corner of the room, and you thought that one might be dangerous. Wow, what a high risk experience I just had. I was th- I was thinking about my funeral, my three kids. What will they do without me? Just because you saw a spider. Kind of. I think it was a spider. Okay. <laughs> it's not so bad. I, I love this country. And, you know, I, every time I come home, I feel I feel torn, you know, because... So expensive. It's very though. expensive. It's very expensive. But $5 for a bottle of Coca-Cola? It is. Yeah, it is. Get out of here. I am out of there. I'm in Australia. Well, get out even (laughs) further. Okay. I'm going to go outside. (laughs) That's an expression when you you think someone is lying. You don't believe them. You can't believe what they're saying. Yeah. Get out of here. If someone is lying, if they're pulling your leg, uh, if they're bullshitting you, we say, get out of here. Get out of here. I don't believe you. That can't be true. But it is, it is. Mm. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Anyway, that's me having a great time in Australia, a beach boy, a spider hunter. Uh, how about you, Abe? What's going on in the cold, frozen island nation of Japan? Well, don't worry about me, Ben, because I have two new pussy cats that are keeping me warm. Do you sleep like with the cats on both sides of your body? Not yet. Because the cats are still getting used to our house. 
hang on. You didn't buy one new pet. You bought two. Well, I didn't buy any new pets. I adopted some uh, rescue cats. And they came as a set? Yeah, because they're brother and sister. Okay. So the the lady who was keeping them, the volunteer, yeah, really wanted to find someone who could take both of them. Oh, I see. So she preferred for the siblings, the brother and sister, to stay together. Well, that's nice. That's sweet. Yeah, and my wife and I originally wanted to get two cats, even back when we got Cleo. Rest in peace. But the thing is, cats often don't get along. Yeah, they're weird animals. Yeah, right? They enjoy their own company, meaning they're happy to be alone. But these two cats are like best friends. No fighting? No, never, no. They always sleep like snuggled oh. together and they're all, they're hugging each other all the time and when when they can't find each other they're like meow meow where are you it's Sister, so cute where are you yeah and they're so different okay so i'm really looking forward to meeting them one of them is like a a big kind of tabby pattern like kind of classic kind of gray green pattern tabby cat okay. kind of chubby male right. H- hang on how 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 old is this is this male they're six months both of them they were born together they're twins well ben cats are born in a litter they have many brothers and sisters usually when they're born i feel so stupid i knew that <laughs> For a second. <laughs> They're twins. <laughs> How rare. Twin cats. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Lawson. It's twins. Well, that's the thing. You would never think they're brother and sister because the male, I call him Sergeant Pepper, he's chubby and tabby pattern, kind of green gray. The female is Lady Caramel. Okay. She's kind of white with brown and black. I got to say, I'm a little bit disappointed with these names. I was hoping you might call them one teacher and the other talk. <laughs> <laughs> Big opportunity missed, but that's okay. I think I think they're good <laughs> names. Sergeant Pepper and Lady Caramel. I like it. I like it already. Oh, they're so sweet. They're so sweet. You know what? I haven't even met them, and I already love them. Oh, you're going to love them. Lady Caramel reminds me a lot of Cleo. Okay. She's so soft and kind of dainty. Ah, I see. Okay, so she's very ladylike. Yeah, like her body is quite slender and, and dainty, like kind of small. Sexy hips. But she has a really long tail. And uh, and her skin, or her skin, her fur is so soft. <laughs> Not her skin. I, I hope you <laughs> haven't shaved her. <laughs> no. No. Anyway, uh, they're so different, and Sergeant Pepper is so silly. He's just this big, clumsy guy. He, <laughs> every time he walks down the stairs, he trips, and he's kind of chubby. He's like, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> How old are they? They well, can they can walk downstairs. I told you already. He's sick. They're six months. Oh, I missed that. Okay, so a six month old cat can walk downstairs. Yeah, Ben. At six months, they're basically adults. Really? They've both been desexed already. Okay, so they've had their uh, their baby making uh, organs, their baby making parts removed. Yes. My dream. So that they can't have babies. They've realized my dream. That's, yeah, they, <laughs> what you would like to do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that you don't have any more babies. I love these guys. I look up to them. <laughs> <laughs> They're your desexing senpai. Oh, yeah. Notice, <laughs> notice me. Anyway, sorry, I'm going on and on about my new cats because I'm so excited about them. Uh, I'm excited to meet them. 
especially now it's been about one week so they're starting to get more comfortable and really warming up to me sure sure and i'm playing with them and wrestling with pepper and oh they're so darn cute how are they with the baby has there been has there been any any attacks any jealousy no no attacks no attacks no jealousy when the baby cries they get freaked out and run away okay well that's good i mean you know that that, that's better than freaking out and attacking the baby it's definitely better than that yeah nobody wants that anyway ben have you been in touch with your army of freaks and weirdos on Instagram? Look, I'll use this uh, this episode, this international episode, as an opportunity to apologize to my freaks and weirdos. Uh, it has been a very busy time for me. Drinking every day, going to the beach every day. An exhausting time. <laughs> Yeah. No, there's a lot more going on. There is. There's fun stuff and difficult there, stuff. There's some, uh, there's some difficult yeah. things going on. We won't get into it, but um, yeah, look, yeah. look, I just want to say, don't worry, I'll be back in full effect, 100%. And I would also... Why don't you post some pictures from Australia Okay, on you know what? I will, fine, I will. I hope you do. And I also want to say a big thank you to, to Christian... For, for stepping in and keeping this teacher talk train on the tracks. Christian, what a what a nice guy, eh? What a great guy. Yeah, he uh, he stepped up to the plate. He did, like a famous baseball batter. And he hit that teacher <laughs> yeah. talk ball out of the stadium. He he knocked it out of the park. Out of the say. fucking park. You know, when you do a really good job. Oh, he knocked it out of the park. Yeah, or he killed it. But in Australia, baseball is not common. So would you say that he knocked it out of the park? I mean, you know, American culture kind of uh, has influence everywhere. So we do use that. But more commonly, we'd say he killed it. Or he smashed it. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, I listen to to the episodes, and I'm very proud of Christian. I, I look at him like a son, um, and uh, <laughs> uh, you know that, that I raised and uh, in the po- in the podcast family, and I'm very happy <laughs> with the results. Very proud of my proud of my podcast son, my pod son. You've. You've never even met him. <laughs> I have met him once. Uh, your memory fails you, Abe. But oh, yeah? When did you meet him? When he came to Japan some years ago. Oh, when he came to visit. When I first met him, as soon as I looked into his beautiful eyes, I knew um, this was the son I, I hadn't yet had. Um, but now he has been born and he's, he's done a great job. Anyway, one day, hopefully, Abe, we can uh, enjoy Melbourne together. And I highly recommend Melbourne, as always. You and me, Abe. Gosh, another 10 days before you come home. I'm already um, I'm dreaming of powdery snow. Oh, powdery snow. Yeah. God, I haven't even thought about snowboarding this year. I've been thinking about snowboarding. I don't think I can because our baby won't start daycare until later in the spring. You will go snowboarding with me at least once this season. I don't care if I have to strap your baby to my chest. It's going to (laughs) happen. Well, if you can convince Mrs. Lawson, then I will definitely uh, be okay with that. I'm going to put some kind of sleeping drug into Mrs. Lawson's tea, and then we're going to take your baby. I'll put her inside my jacket, and we're going to oh, snow. A couple of snow dogs going to going to hit those slopes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, sounds good. It does. <laughs> So much stuff to talk about, Ben. All right, we'll save it for next episode. I've had some beautiful uh, messages from listeners asking why I'm away and when I'm coming back. I'll just say this. I was already planning to come home for Christmas, and I've had some 
some family issues to attend to. But uh, don't worry, guys. I will be back and stronger, better, more tanned and uh, sexier than ever. You're going to be so sexy when you come back and we make another video. I'm going to be embarrassed. When I land in Tokyo, the police are going to arrest me in the airport for being too sexy. I'm going to need a good lawyer, Abe. I'm going to need legal help. I'll do what I can do, but uh, I wouldn't worry about that, Ben. You're sexy, but you're not that sexy. If you could send some kind of sex lawyer to meet me at the airport, um, <laughs> I, would appreciate, I would appreciate that. <laughs> uh, you're, just a, you're an idiot. <laughs> just a, Okay, hmm. I'll arrange the sex lawyer. All right, well, you got I'm, it. Okay. Yeah, count on me. I do. Endlessly. When someone Abe. needs a sex lawyer, they call Abe. They sure do. Everyone knows that. They sure do. Although I think you meant a sexiness lawyer. Oh, uh, no, just a general sex lawyer. I mean, you just know. in general. Yeah, okay. You know, sure. You know, handles all issues related to sex, including sexiness. Okay. Mm. All right. All right. Yeah. Well, if you are a general sex lawyer, a practicing sex please lawyer, please send an email to fbe teacher talk at gmail dot com. Ten days. Uh, the count- Ben is going. <laughs> the to countdown is on. Need your services in about ten days, guys. We don't have long to get the sexy documents together, so I can get back into Japan without any problems. And this is because Ben is worried he'll be too sexy, that they'll arrest him, and he'll need a sex lawyer to argue that he is not too sexy, that he's just sexy enough. I'll be charged as a terror, a sex terrorist, or as they say, an errorist. <laughs> An erotic terrorist. A sexorist. An error. It's errorism. (laughs) Okay. Okay, Ben. Goodbye. We got some stuff to do uh, that we didn't get around to. We'll let's let's talk again on the phone in about a week. How about that? I look forward to it. Thank you, everybody. And uh, don't worry about me. I'm just punching jellyfish and kicking kangaroos in their stupid pockets and i'll be back soon sexy as ever all right ben okay well uh the sex lawyer will be waiting for you in narita <laughs> and i shall have i shall have his payment ready to go yeah because you know if you don't have any money there's only one way to pay for a sex lawyer hey and you know what i don't want to end up in the court of sex appeal <laughs> hey. Oh, good one. Thank you. Good Thank one. you. Good Thank one. You. Good one. See, I'm not that drunk. Ah, yes. Okay, so let me just explain that. <laughs> when when a decision is made by a judge or the court, uh, if you want to challenge the decision, it's called an appeal. It's an appeal. I want to challenge that decision. I'm not happy with it, judge. So that's called the Court of Appeals. And Ben, very clever, said something, something, the Court of Sex <laughs> Appeal. <laughs> hey, guilty. Because sex appeal means your <laughs> sexiness, how much you appeal much to people, people sexually. Your how sex badly appeal. do people want to fuck you? And guilty. All right, guilty. Yeah. Put me away. Put me away, Your Honor. Whoa! Don't say the F word, Ben. Australian people swear a lot. All right. Well, you said you would be relatively sober. And I am. And I guess this version of Ben is what that means. Relatively <laughs> Oh, thank <sober>. you. Rel- <laughs> okay, Ben. Miss you, buddy. Kiss, kiss. I've got a little bit more parenting to do tonight, it looks like. But I'll be back in a week. Okay, buddy. Sounds great. Take care. Snow dogs. Snow, snow dogs. When it's winter time and the snow starts falling. That's when the snow dogs go snowboarding. Shredding it up on the mountainside. When the snow dogs come 
ain't no place to hide. Digging, sniffing, doing sweet.